Shifting focus to the northeastern state of Manipur as it chooses its fate for the upcoming five years as the state casts its vote for the first phase of assembly elections. The second phase will be held on March 5th. The competition is tough in the state as BJP seeks to retain power while Congress is pinning its hope on its six-party coalition to oust the Berain Singh government. Over 60 seats are at stake in northeastern state of Manipur and 38 of them are undergoing polling today. Without the support of the people, so I, I am praying and uh, I am requesting to the people of the, my constituency, along with and the uh, others, voters of the entire state, to cast their their valuable vote and uh, use the democratic power given to them by the constitution. There are a lot of young uh, voters, this time young first time voters, and uh, there are 38 assembly constituencies that are going for polls today, and we, as you can see, a lot of women voters are also out there. Women voters in uh, the first phase outnumber male, uh, male voters. However, the representation of women candidates are less compared to the male candidates there for 15 women are contesting out of uh, 173 candidates and we are going to speak with a women voter as well aap aap vote nahi aaye ho aapko matlab kya issues aapko leke vote dene aaye ho now we want a change no and then uh, mostly this bjp did we don't want as a, a youth, no. Any, even in the social media, many youths, they want something and they, if they say something against our uh, government, leading government, they are some, uh, the, how to say, uh, they put a case in, the, how to say? So we, we can observe a sense of anti-incumbency here. This is also the home bastion of NPP chief Yumnam Joy Kumar. So there, the the so it is very obvious to have a bit of anti-incumbency factor here, and uh, as you can see, a lot of people have lined up here to cast their vote.